Hi, I'm Mehul Harry with DevExpress. In this video, you're going to see a new feature of the ASPX page control and ASPX tab control. This feature allows you to work with multiple tabs. So if you have a lot of tabs, you can either scroll them or put them on multiple rows. So let's check it out. To start, I've created a blank ASP.NET web application in Visual Studio 2010 and add an ASPX page control with six tabs to it. Now let's take a quick look at it in the default view. Now from the web config, I've specified the Aqua theme. But as you can tell, the standard ASPX page control doesn't allow any scrolling. Now to enable scrolling is really easy. So let's take a look at it. Simply go to the ASPX page controls properties and set the enable tab scrolling property to true. Now you can find this property under the behavior category. So I'll set the enable tab scroll to true and immediately in the designer you'll see that we have the tab scroll buttons. Now let's take a look at this in action. Now we can see that it's only displaying three tabs, but that's because we have the scroll buttons enabled. So we can see that the right is grayed out because we're on the rightmost tab. And if we click the left button, it'll start scrolling to the left. And once we reach the far left side, it will gray out the left, left scroll button and enable the right scroll button. Now, you can also control where these tab scroll buttons are displayed. Right now, I have the tabs positioned to the center or justified so that the tab scroll buttons are shown to the left and to the right. But let's say that I want to show them to the right. Now we can control this using the tab align property. So let's set the tabs to align to the right so that the scroll buttons show up to the left. Now you can find the tab align property under the appearance category and we'll set it from justify to right. Now we can see that immediately the designer updated and the scroll buttons are both displayed side by side, the left and the right buttons. Now let's take a look at this in action. Now we can see that the tab buttons are displayed together on the left side. Now similarly, if I wanted to display both of these buttons on the right side, I'd set the tab align property to the left and the buttons would appear both of them to the right side. Now let's take a look at the multi-row property. Now here, I have a simple AXPX page control with six tabs on it. So let's take a look at this in action. Now, we can see that this is a standard AXPX page control, and I've got the six tabs that I've defined. But let's say I want to split up some of these tabs. So from data, I want data and the rest of these tabs to appear on a new line. Now, to enable this is really easy. You simply need to set the property of the specific tab page. Now, you have several ways to do this. I tend to prefer to use the tab pages dialog from the smart tag, but you can also do this from the property dialog. So if you wanted to do it from the properties, simply go to miscellaneous tab pages, click on the collection here, and find the tab that you want to enable the new row for. So we'll go to the data tab page here and set the new line property under miscellaneous to true. Now we can see immediately we have a new row. Now let's take a look at this in action. Now, we can see that we still have the same ordering of our tab pages, except now, data and everything after it is on a new row. Now, similarly, we can do this for multiple tab pages as well. So, if I go to the tab pages again, and I'll remove the new line from the data, and I'll set it for navigation and layout, and I'll also set it for components, so this way, I will have three rows of two tabs each. Now, we can see that it's updated, we have three rows, and it's broken up into new lines for each of the tabs that I defined. Now, let's take a look at this in action. And there we have the same set of tabs, as well as the new lines for each of the tabs that we defined. So as you saw, the new feature to scroll and multiple rows is really easy to enable with a couple of properties. Now look for it in the next major release, DXperience 2010 Volume 2, which should be out later this year. Thanks for watching.